greatest driver of 2022, 2021, 2020, whatever year. Flat out annoy me. And to be honest, a pretty misleading. Guys, how you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. Simon down here at Sanford Springs Golf Club. Finishing up a day of filming and it's a very interesting topic that I want to talk about and clarify for you guys that are starting the game as I understand and I sympathize and I see what a lot of creators are trying to do with that title as because that is what the market wants. An amateur golfer starting the game, first, second, third, fourth, whatever it is, wants straighter drives. It means you're going to score better. It gives you confidence. Some of the biggest fears of all amateurs is hitting a bad tee shot off the first in front of their friends or a tournament or whatever it might be. So people want the straightest driver out on the market, but it just doesn't exist. And every time I see one of these videos come up or review of the new 2022 golf clubs that are coming out and they go, which one is the straightest of this year? It just is flat out impossible as there is no variables in that video that will constitute one driver being straighter than another for the whole entire population of this country of this world so therefore i want to break down exactly what would need to be happening for that golf club to be the straightest driver in the world and not only that how you can hit straighter drives with the driver that you already have in your golf bag if you like this video leave it a like subscribe if you're new let's get into it so i'm going to make this very simple and i want to make sure everyone that's watching this video wants to understand exactly how a ball finishes on target and also how every golf coach determines how to fix someone's swing will now understand exactly why the ball does what it wants to do for the ball to finish on target there's certain impact factors that we need to be aware of. There's actually five. You've got club head speed, angle of attack, sentiness of strike, um, swing path, and then club face. Now there's five, but there's only two we really want to pay attention. Even though the others do make a difference, they don't make a massive difference to where the ball finishes on target. So what we need to know is club face, in terms of relation where that club face is pointing at impact, as well as swing path. And those two elements alone will determine exactly where the ball finishes in terms of your target line. And this is the main reason that straightest driver review of 2022, 2021, 2020 annoys me so much because as far as I'm aware, in this day and age, there is not a single driver on the market that has artificial intelligence or a gyroscope or some kind of GPS tracking system that will alter that club face or your swing path at the point of impact to make sure the ball goes on target. Now, potentially that is something we might see in the future and it'd be very interesting. And then I would go, this is the straightest driver because all of a sudden that driver is me mechanically and moving your swing path and club face to make sure a ball does finish on target, therefore being the straightest driver. But there isn't that technology at the moment. Therefore, there isn't a specific driver out there that will suit absolutely everyone and be deemed, even if it was a fraction, if there was a driver out there that even took a yard off everyone's drives in the world and made them one yard more accurate i would take down this video and apologize to say that there is a driver out there that is straighter than all the others and all of us will be able to save some offline distance versus our driver that we have in the bag but that just isn't the case as well some of you might have a draw driver for example or a ping sft and you might have a bit of a fade and because that driver is used to turning in more from the toes it closes it a bit more therefore it allows that ball to start a tiny bit more left at impact and then finish back on target more and doesn't necessarily have that slice that you would normally see. Maybe it shaves five yards, six yards, seven yards, maybe a bit of placebo effect alone will then shave off another 15 to 20 yards just because you have more confidence. That again, I can get behind. But if you gave that to anyone, so maybe someone's got a massive hook. Maybe someone can't get the ball. Um, uh, maybe someone has way too high of a launch and needs to get their ball down. That driver itself is therefore not going to help them. And you have tons of different heads and tons of different shafts to suit tons of different players. That, again, with a club fit, I can see helping someone's dispersion. But there is no singular head in the world. Low spin, forgiving, weight at the back, weight at the front, adjustable weighting, that will cure everyone's drive to make sure that they're straighter than something that they are gaming currently in their golf bag. Again, that's why a straightest driver review 
is near on impossible. And to prove my point further, we're not talking about forgiveness. Yes, there are more forgiving drivers out there. The bigger the mass, the more forgiving. That's with putters, that's with irons. The most forgiving clubs in golf are the ones that are bigger. It's just pure physics and science. And there'll be some of you out there that have very unforgiving drivers. Very small heads, maybe the tall heads, 430cc. And you will say, this is the straightest driver I've ever hit. I always go on about the SLDR being a landmark in terms of longest driver out there, but just so unforgiving, so difficult to get the dispersion correct. Yet you'll see every video that I've put on the SLDR and someone will comment, it's the most forgiving, straightest driver I have ever hit. And that person isn't lying. That person has found that perfect head, perfect shaft, perfect loft combination for their swing. Therefore, with again, a bit of confidence, maybe a bit of placebo effect, as well as something that just suits their swing down to a T, they are able to hit the straightest drives they've ever hit in their career and my advice to that person is never take that drive out of the bag even if there is somehow which there definitely isn't a club out on the market that will give them eight ten and this is super generous 10 miles an hour ball speed difference than the SLGR so let's say it's gonna gain them another 20 yards do not take that SLGR drive out of the bag because whatever torque whatever weight whatever gram shaft head design face interaction you have with that club is unique and unique to you therefore it's very unlikely you'll be fitted in a half an hour hour session with something that's going to match the dispersion around your golf course on the winter morning summer evening better than the one you're already gaming in the bag now i'm not putting down any creator that is putting straightest driver in their title i understand it i am part of the game hence the title that you see on this video it's about clicks it's about views it's about selling the news selling the product selling whatever it is to then obviously generate more subscribers and revenue and again i can get behind that because I'm a part of the same game so at no point am I saying these people are trying to con you they know people want to see the straightest driver 2022 because that is what is determined by the manufacturers they know the psyche people want shortcuts around this game and unfortunately they don't exist if you want to hit straighter drives there's two things and it's very simple that you need to master number one that head needs to travel towards the target. So the flag or the bunker or the left-hand side of the fairway, whatever target that you've decided, that head needs to travel towards. Number two, that face needs to be pointing at the target as well. If you have a 0.0, .0 swing path and you have a 0, 0.0 club face, i.e. both the club heads and the face are pointing in the same direction towards your target line, you're gonna apply nothing but backspin. Therefore, the ball starts on the target line because the face is pointing. The face determines 85 to 90% of where that ball starts. So you could have the best swing path in the world, but if your club face is even open by 15 degrees, I'm telling you you're having the biggest push slice of your life. You've got this lovely draw in swing path, but that club face is shut 10 degrees close to the intended target. Sadly, you are going to hit a massive pull hook. The big thing here is making sure your club face starts at the target. And if you don't want any spin on your golf shots, you're gonna have to train yourself to hit the, swing the club in to in, i.e. getting that club to swing straight at the target line. And because the ball starts on the line and because the ball doesn't have any side spin on it, it will then finish on the target as well. That is why you see so many unique tour swings now compared to back in the day. They even messed up the ball flight laws. They didn't actually have an idea of what was going on. They thought swing path was a big one and club face was important, but not as important as it is now. Now we have Trackman, now we have GC Quad, now we have all these different radars. We know wholeheartedly that club face is the main, main ingredient of making sure that that ball starts straight and finishes on your target. Therefore, one of the big things I advise to a lot of beginner golfers is be really aware of where your club face is in relation to your swing, making sure that that club face is at the target impact and work on it from the ground up, on your putting, on your chipping, on your pitch shots. Make sure you can actually physically see at 10 miles an hour, 20 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour, that club face is pointing at the target at impact and then work it up into your golf swing. Now, if you've got a big slice, you come across the ball a lot, Maybe you've got physical limitations that will stop you from ever hitting an in-to-in or even an in-to-out, hitting that draw swing. Do not worry. 
because you can work around it. You can close that club face, you can hit that face, you can play the golf game as it is, but there is not a club out on the market or will ever be on the market until there's that AI produced that will cure your fate, sadly. You can still enjoy this game. You can still play this game to the best of your ability. But sadly, technology will never be able to succumb to that swing path and club face dynamic until there is that technology to alter it per swing, each swing, different speeds to some kind of effect without breaking. And this is a great lesson to a lot of you because a lot of you focus so much about your swing, how it looks on video, how have I dropped it on the inside, where are my hands at the top, and none of you really look at what the ball's doing. I can guarantee you every person that's reviewing those clubs that's done their PGA, myself, any golf coach out there will always and only, if they don't have a radar or data, look at where the ball's going. Did the ball start left of target? Did the ball start right of target? Did it come back in on target? Did it carry on going out to the right hand side? That's how I know you've got an out in swing. That's how I know that you open the club face on the down swing. That's how I know you hit your pull hook. Not because I'm able to photograph your impact with my eyes and adjust it to see what the club was doing. All I'm going on is that ball flight. So if you want to cure your fade, or maybe if you want to cure your pull hook, now you know what is up. If you've got a massive draw, you're too far in to out. If that ball starts right, comes back in, your swing path is in to out. If you come way across it, and that ball starts massively left, really low, and then comes back in on target, you're out to in, you've got a fade. Target line's very important, and once you figure out where your target line is, and then work out where you're consistently hitting the golf ball, you can tweak your swing path, and you can tweak your club face to hit straighter drives. Don't go and buy a driver just because someone said it's slightly straighter than the other. Guys, I hope you like this video. Short, brief, but hopefully to the point, and hopefully some of you got a bit of value out of that, understanding exactly why a ball does what it wants to do. If you like this video, leave it a like, subscribe if you're new. Catch you guys